What's up YouTube? So in this video, I'm going to be going over my top five edge rushers for the 2024 NFL Draft. Um, starting with number five, Chop Robinson um, from Penn State. He's 6'3", 254 pounds. Um, ran a 4'4", 40, which is absolutely blazing fast for an edge rusher, obviously. Great ball get off, sets the edge pretty well. Um, pretty good with his hands as well, will defeat the hands. Has a little bit of a cloth pull, can actually play his own coverage a little bit, which is cool. Um, he plays with his hand in the dirt, but I think he'd be better standing up. Uh, needs more of a toolbox, doesn't have a whole lot of uh, pass rushing moves, and doesn't really rush with much of a plan either. Kind of more or less relies on his explosiveness to win. A uh, very raw player with some very good traits, but I think um, I think he has a very high ceiling, but I don't think he has as high of a floor as some other players. Meaning, like I think if he can use his athletic traits and get some really good coaching, I think this guy could be absolutely amazing. He's just very raw. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my, my thoughts on that. Moving on to number four, Dallas Turner, who I think is kind of in a similar boat. Um, from Alabama, 6'3", 247 pounds, ran a 4'4", 640, a little bit faster than Chop. Um, stronger than his size would imply, for sure. Decent head fake to him. Pretty good ball get off. Uh, good speed to power, good burst. Again, not much of a tool bag. And once he's blocked, he doesn't really have a whole lot of counters. Pretty raw as a pass rusher, but he does set the edge pretty decently. Uh, gets his hands inside, squeezes um, pretty well, meaning like in like read options and stuff. Like he'll squeeze close to the tackle and um, basically read the quarterback to see what's going on before he overcommits. Um, again, kind of like Chop Robinson, he's actually pretty decent in zone coverage as well. Some good, pretty good bend to him. Uh, good in the run. I, again. I think he's better standing up. I, I, I'd see, I prefer both Dallas Turner and Chop Robinson as uh, outside linebackers in a 3-4 scheme. I, I, I do want them standing up. Um, he does show a cloth pull that I wish he would use a little bit more, but overall he really needs more counters. Um, really solid player. Uh, again, a very high ceiling, but I just see some other guys as a little bit more refined right now as of 2024, including his teammate Chris Braswell. Also from Alabama, 6'3", 251 pounds, ran a 4'6", 40. So obviously not as athletic. Um, but overall has some really good speed and burst to him for an edge. Uh, he also lines up at edge and linebacker, which is cool. And I think he could even play a little bit of Sam linebacker if you need him to. Um, deals a trash very well as a linebacker. Good spin move. Actually rushes with a plan. Has a rip move that I think is developing. Um, actually pretty decent in coverage as well. Um, some pretty good physical traits, very strong, good with his hands, uh, has some experience on special teams as well, good run defender. Uh, I just think that he might not be as athletic as Dallas Turner or Chop Robinson. I just think, you know, you actually see how he beats people. He has a spin move. He has a rip move. He does rush with a plan. He's just a little bit more refined. Now, Dallas Turner and Chop Robinson, I think they have higher ceilings than Chris Braswell because they have better athletic traits. But I think Chris Braswell is more ready right now. That's kind of my my thoughts. Um, moving on to number two, Jared Verse from FSU. 6'4", 254 pounds, ran a 4'5", 840. Very tenacious player. Really good ball get off, great swim move. Uh, good cloth pull. Uh, good spin move as well. Very good tool bag. Uh, good speed to power. He'll swipe your hands down. Sometimes fall, falls for eye candy, like misdirection and stuff like that a little bit, so I want to see him improve in that regard. Um, can get over-aggressive and out of position. Very angry player, though. A little bit raw as a run defender, but more refined as a pass rusher. Uh, has a very good tool bag, um, but needs to set um, offensive line up a little bit more. Very Overall, a very fun player, though. Uh, I think he can come in and be a great pass rusher right now, but I do think he needs to develop a little bit more of the run. Um... Could probably stand to get a little bit stronger, too. And I don't think it really matters what um, scheme he's in. I think putting his hand in the dirt or standing up, I don't think it really matters for him. Uh, I, I think he'll be equally good at either one. So, moving on. At this point, it should be obvious. My number one, Leitu Latu from uh, UCLA. He's 6'5", 259 pounds. Ran a 4'6", 440. Some bend to him, which is great. Solid ball get off, good rip move, has a spin and swim move as well. Can squeeze and set the edge. Um, good hand fight, 
currently plays standing up, but I think he might even be better with his hand in the dirt. He can absolutely do either one, though. I have full confidence in that. Has a very good tool belt. Uh, could stand to chain them together a little bit better. Uh, he does run. He does rush with a plan and a backup plan, but I think that could stand to improve even more. Um, could stand to probably get a little bit stronger, too. Um, but I like this guy a lot. I really do. Um, I think he's probably the most refined edge rusher in this class. Uh, he's ready to go right now as a run defender and a pass rusher, which is why he is my number one. Um, like I said, Chop Robinson and Dallas Turner have higher athletic ceilings because they have the physical gifts. But I think Leitu Latu is definitely more ready to go right now. He does have an injury history, so teams will kind of have to figure that out. But uh, overall, yeah, love this guy. Um, and is absolutely my number one. And honestly, I think... Jared Verse and everybody else is like a whole tier down from the A2 2 in my opinion. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.